Revolution. This is Brother Leonard, the Truth Seeker. I'm coming to you. More few minutes of truth. And not only that, not only just a few minutes of truth, but please don't forget to join me every Wednesday on our live stream, live from the basement. This is, you know, Revolution. We live from the basement. So every Wednesday, Wednesday evening, look for the links and for the times um, on that Wednesday. This evening, we're talking about um, pastors and their wives and how all this stuff, there's a lot of stories tonight revolving around pastor's wives. And we have another story involving another pastor's wife. All right, let's go ahead and look at these people right here. I take it you're familiar uh, with um these men i haven't talked about them on my um live stream yet but these three gentlemen uh were arrested over the summer at various points in time because they were um pastors who were trafficking teenage girls they were trying to get they were trying to pimp out two teenage girls who have come forward I'm sure that there may be more uh, right now but right now we know that two came forward and one of them is going to be very key a little bit later on okay one is going to be a little bit key a little bit later on as we, as we talk about the story but the first one that was arrested uh, was his name was Anthony Haynes, and I believe he's out of Detroit. And first of all, I want to say I want to say something before I get too far involved. Um, you know, as it relates to your local newspaper, see stories like this are the reasons why local news and local newspapers are important, and you should support your local newspaper, whether you got a subscription, whether you pick it up and read it, whatever. But the Toledo Blade has done great work. They have done great work on this case. All right. They've done great work since day one. And I wanted to shout them out. The Toledo Blade, good work on helping us get this story and get this story right. Okay. Now, the first person um, that was caught by the FBI. Um, as it relates to uh, this uh, sex trafficking of a minor, uh, was Anthony Haynes. Okay, Anthony Haynes was uh, caught up. Uh, basically, found uh, found a teenage girl, and basically coerced her into having sex with him, and then he tried to get her and another and another girl to start you know having sex for money and that gets anthony jenkins and uh, cordell jenkins involved cordell jenkins was also involved because he had one girl and one of the girls that he had was from his church so they were all a part of this and one of the girls that he got involved into this thing and he had a relate sexual relationship with and she's uh, 17 now i believe that this the thing says the story says she was being solicited um also and then later on this summer they found another preacher kenneth butler who was having sex with these uh, young young ladies? Now they're all sitting up in jail right now uh, because their bonds are like about a million dollars or something like that. And I think uh, yeah, their their bonds are like a million dollars. They're charged with um, sex trafficking of a minor, um, production of child pornography, receipt of child pornography, and uh, paying two, um, two seven two um, underage girls. They're seventeen now, but um, they were about fourteen to fifteen or whatever um, for soliciting 
um, nude photos and videos um, of them. So that's what they're being charged for. And I'm glad that they're being charged and hopefully, um, hopefully they will, you know, justice will be served in this situation. And these three will be behind bars for a long time and not preaching their hypocrisy to you. Okay, the people of God. But that brings us up to why am I talking about them? Well, Mr. Jenkins, see his wife, Laura, she worked for the county on the children's board, paid position by the county. She worked on the county board and she was employed by the county um, in Toledo. I forgot the name of the county. I want to see if they have it here. Well, uh, 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 yeah, uh, doesn't have it. Don't worry about it. You can look it up and find it. Now, she was on the board. And after her husband got arrested for these horrific crimes, the children's board suspended her. Gave her a 30 day suspension. She served two weeks out of the office, two weeks unpaid, did work in the office uh, for two weeks. And this, this happened over the summer. But here's where the problem lies with her. She met with, you know, an FBI agent back in March. And she basically lied to the agent, right? She basically told the agent that, um, that she saw the girls that, wait a minute, let me get this here. Here's what, here's what happened. First of all, she found text messages on on the girl's phone, okay? And she saw that the messages indicated that Mr. Jenkins was paying her for sex. Now, Remember, she's on the children's board, right? Now, when she found out about the text, what did Laura Jenkins do? Laura Jenkins, instead of going to authorities, because remember, she's on the children's board, and being on the children's board, when you have situations like this, you are a court mandated reporter. She didn't go to authorities. She went to the girl and she went to the guardian of the girl and tried to figure something out. And instead of going straight to the police, which means that she would, um, you know, send her husband to jail. You know, she said nothing. And then when the FBI came, she said she knew nothing. But the Guardian had already, t had already shown her the phone with the messages. So now, Miss Jenkins here, She's been arrested as well for obstruction of justice. So now that brings four people in this sex trafficking situation that has been arrested. Oh, by the way, she um, she quit her job last week uh, right when she knew that she was going to be arrested. So, yeah, she quit her job and it was just like I quit. I, basically, I quit type of deal. So now Lord Jenkins. Uh, her husband and it's a shame it's a shame because 
We sitting up here talking about folk pimping folk, but this is some real pimp stuff. And folk is pimping, and you got this right here. And once again, thank you Toledo Blade for the information. Revolution.